Welcome to McGahee's Entertainment. I'm your host, Adam McGahee, and this is my co-host, and this is Tutorials with the Boys. Today in Tutorials with the Boys, we're going to be showing you how to make a tasty treat you all love at home. I'm talking about that stuff you get at the movie theater. I'm talking about delicious cinema style popcorn. And we're not going to the cinema to get this stuff, kiddies. We're making it at home. Isn't that right, Jaden? Yes. We're going to show you these simple ingredients to have you fresh made popcorn at home that'll make you never wanting to go to the movies ever again. Check this out. Ah! Alright, kiddies. So before we can dive into this tasty snack, you're going to need some ingredients. And today, that's what I'm here for. Alright, so the first thing you're going to need is coconut oil. I'd say about a cup. This tasty little ditty is what you're going to cook your popcorn in. I prefer to go with organic because not only is it delicious, but you can brag to your buddies that you eat organic now. The next thing you're going to need is Flavacol. It's the Krabby Patty secret formula of popcorn. I'd say use a tablespoon. It's the tasty salt that gives popcorn that buttery taste we've come to know and love. I have mine in a fancy little shaker. You could probably get it on Amazon around seven to ten dollars. Another thing you need to keep your popcorn popping is, of course, kernels. You can get them at your local grocery. Use about a cup. You don't want to put too much in, or they'll burn. You don't want that. No. No good movie date has happened with burned popcorn. Mmm. Look at those things. Beautiful. The last, and possibly most important thing you need to make your popcorn get that movie taste is topping oil. That's the hot, buttery goodness they drizzle on your corn when you go see the latest flip. Now this artery clogging goodness is in the comfort of your own home. And your arteries. I use Odell's Super Kiss Topping Oil. This golden nectar can also be found on Amazon for about 20 bucks. Okay, let's get started. Turn your stove on to about medium heat and dump in your oil. When you initially put in your oil, it's actually a solid. You'll just have to give it a bit to melt. Next, add your flavicol. You'll see I'm putting in more than a tablespoon. That's because I like my popcorn extra salty and extra buttery. You can use as much as you want. You'll then have to mix the two together, and then add your kernels, and mix some more. It's all about mixing, people. But hey, after all that mixing, it's worth the amazing treat that now you're done mixing. Once your oil is hot enough, you may notice your kernels are somewhat boiling. That's when you take your good old lid here, seal that pot up, and get ready for some true popcorn popping action at its finest. Man, I need popcorn just to eat while watching this popcorn pop. You'll need to periodically take the pot and shake it to make sure your kernels are still getting well mixed to evenly distribute that tasty salt. Mmm, can't wait for this. And so it begins. Am I making you all hungry out there in YouTube land? I sure hope so. These kernels have started popping and a delicious smell may have just permeated your home. Don't worry, no need to be alarmed. This is all very normal. You want to take the lid off at the start of the popping to give the kernels a chance to air out. Don't leave it off too long though. Not even popcorn likes to be left out to dry. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. But how could we forget the piece de resistance, the topping oil? All you need to do is pour this buttery glaze over your tantalizing creation, and you are ready to give your taste buds the opportunity of a lifetime. I bet you can't handle yourself right now. You know why? Because I can't handle myself right now. Oh, and we haven't even started eating the popcorn yet. And now, let's ask Jaden to see how amazing this creation is. Well, what do you think? Try it. Huh? <laughs> there 
very good. That's all we have for today, folks, on Tutorials with the Boys. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.